Hello and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B and it's unboxing week. I'm really, really excited for it. Today we have the Creative Notions box. Now it typically comes in a shipper and then a beautiful bag around this bag that's inside the shipper so that this bag stays all cuddly and warm but to try and limit some of the noise and scissors and all those things as we are changing around our studio, I thought I would go ahead and just show you this beautiful bag. This is a beautiful polka dot bag and I'm thinking these would make really good project bags and I'm really excited to try and like maybe try and make that work because Vicki at Creative Notions has been doing these bags for a couple of months now and I've started to like make a little collection and I love it. Uh, we just filmed a Packa press, pressing mat review because I have been reviewing that uh, mat for several months now. And if you remember in our Creative Notions box from a few months ago, we got a pack of pressing mat in one of these and that's just where I keep it. And it's kind of its protector and I really love it. So yeah, I think this is like super sweet and nice. And she even has like her own labels and tags and everything. And it's just so unbelievably cute. So this is $39.95 a month. We will have all the information for you down below in the description box. Each box comes with eight fat quarters of highly, like very high quality quilting fabric. I love it, it's so cute. There are notions and there's just so much more. Right now, each month we are getting a zappy dot, which is a magnetic dot and it's interchangeable onto jewelry or for needle minders or things like that. And I've loved seeing which e what each one is each month and it's just super fun. So, and she always, always put something handmade in our bags and it's just I don't know I just love it I just love the thought and detail that Vicki puts into these and I just think she's incredibly sweet and her whole family works so incredibly hard at putting out these subscription boxes so you can schedule reoccurring payments you can go on her website and kind of take a look at other boxes that she's had if she has leftovers or things like that and so um yeah with further, without further ado, let's get into this month because I feel something in here and I saw a sneak peek that I think it's something we're all really going to enjoy. So you can go to creativenotionsquiltshop.com and you can kind of look at uh, things that she's got in that uh, shop as well. So very first we have a fabric bundle. This is really, really cute. And as you all know, I have started to take pictures or small videos and include them. And so uh, that will be what you're looking at right now is this cute, cute fabric with the bright colors. Very summer, spring. I love it. Love it, love it. Cute. Okay, and then yes, this is a fabric panel. So I will show you that here. This is a fabric panel from Cherry Blossoms Quilting Studio for Bernatex. Oh, so pretty. There are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 of those squares. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love that. Bring your own sunshine. This is your moment to shine. Very sweet. Oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, so like I said, it, very high quality fabrics, uh, quilting fabrics. This is from Bernatex, and it does not disappoint as as well. Okay, then let's see. This was already hanging out. A cranberry walnut braid uh, recipe in here from Creative Notions. So sometimes she gives us a blank recipe card that we can write our own recipes on, and sometimes she includes a recipe itself. So that is on the recipe card. That sounds super yummy. All right. This is the, tech guy's not with me today, so I can't hand him this, but this is the information that comes telling you what's in the box and a little bit more information about Creative Notions. They do have a referral program as well, so you'll want to uh, go to their website and talk about that. Okay, believe in yourself and the world will, will believe in you too. Molly's grandma in Stand Tall Molly. Lou Melon, and this is our zappy dot for this month. Oh, so sweet. Does this one have a name? Amanda Murphy Blossom Ceramic Magnet. 
Very cute. Okay, and it's got some cute little flowers on it, so you guys will be seeing that. Next, we have a pin that says, so much fabric, so little time. Cute. All right, and then we have quilt labels. This includes five various labels, and I'll lay them all out nicely so you guys can see them. And then a all-purpose marker as well to write on those. Now, I wanna know in the comments below if you guys label your quilts. I will be very honest and say I've never labeled a quilt before, and as I've given them away as gifts and mementos and things like that, everyone always tells me like, I really, you need to label so that we know where it's coming from or, or whatever. And so I've never done this. So I'm excited to have these. I know we've gotten them in other subscription boxes. I just have not gotten into the habit of labeling my quilts. So I want to know in the comments down below, do you do that? All right. Oh, my candy fell out. So she always includes a piece of candy. It's so sweet, literally. Okay. Oh, this is what I thought it was. I saw a sneak peek. I'm sorry. I tried to avoid the plastic and this is gonna be plasticky. Okay, let's get that out of the way. I saw a sneak peek and I thought this might be in here. So this is gonna be a planner. This was manufactured by Sugar and Spice Studio for Creative Notions, and I just did a 2020 cross-stitch planner for what my uh, plan was to use that, the 24 hours of cross-stitch planner, and I'm really, really excited. I was trying to figure out how I was gonna use that for quilting and cross-stitch, and my brain was not making it work. So I'm really excited to look at this. Okay, so this is called Maker's Planner 20. 20 has a really nice elastic band uh, plastic coils super cute quilty design on the front okay so we've got our personal information here at the front it looks like uh, you know all the emergency contacts your Twitter your uh, Facebook Instagram all those things cell phone number just in case it's lost then we have a contacts page so super cute. I love this. I love to, uh, I love snail mail, y'all. Even if it's just a card in the mail, I just think it's incredibly, incredibly sweet and nice to send snail, snail mail still. Okay, then we've got a holiday, dates, calendar. Everything is so bright. I love the color scheme of this. All right, then we have a yardage chart and a pre-cut chart. Cool. Cool. Okay, so this is that yardage chart I was telling you about, and then there's a pre-cut diagram. Then we've got this really nice plastic pocket here with a zipper down the side of it. Man, that is nice to keep fabric swatches or anything in. Then we've got quilting abbreviations and acronyms. Oh, this is super nice. Super nice. SUI, shopping under the influence. You guys, that is absolutely adorable. One of the first uh, blog posts I ever made on our website was an abbreviation, and one of them was, uh, or not abbreviation, it was a quilting definitions, and it was like receipt, something you hide from your husband. Uh, and so this is so cute. Oh, I love that. This will be something I tab for sure because I will come back to it. Then we've got fabric groups and a color wheel. So that's really nice. Then we've got a swap planner. So I don't do many swaps. Maybe it's something I should maybe look into. Uh, but we've got several pages of swamp planner here. So that's nice. And then we've got kind of like a sheet protector here that you can slide maybe fabric swatches or, um, oh, what is that planner called? I want to say life proof, but that's not what it is. Becky Higgins is the creator. There's a planner that has these cards that could probably fit down in there. That's really cool. It's a scrapbook, not a planner. I'm sorry. So that's really neat that this little thing, or you could keep fabric swatches or notes or whatever down in there. And then we've got a nice card stock and the paper is really thick too. Like as the planner, the paper's really thick. We have a really nice card stock. Um, oh, it's got a pocket on the other side, but this is your January tab and it has your month at a glance inside of a quilt block. That is so cute. This is a churn dash, churn dash. This is super cute and it's got January at a glance and then the pocket on the other side. That's really nice. Then we've got a habit tracker. So I want to know how you all do habit trackers because I do not have one yet. 
Um, but I like this idea. So you list your habits over here and then you color in the day or mark off the day that you get those done. Then we've got the monthly layout here. And don't worry, I'm not gonna walk you through each month. I'll just kinda, cause I would assume the months are the same. So we've got the monthly layout. Then we have a couple of project sheets. These are nice. Project name, pattern, fabric, fabric purchase from date, from and date. So your quilt shop material list, a cost tracker. Oh, I don't know that I wanna do that. But I guess if you're commissioned to do a quilt, then you need to keep track of your cost. So there is one, one, two, three, enough for three projects a month. And then you've got your grid paper. And then we start a new month and we have that same sheet protector. And then another quilt block. This one is the Friendship Star. And then, um, oh, nice. So for February, it shows important dates. Quilt Con is in Austin, Texas, February 20th through the 23rd. AQS Quilt Week Show is in Daytona Beach, Florida, February 26th to 29th. So that's really nice that they've included those in there. Cool. And then we've got the pocket, the habit tracker, all those things again. Oh, March is cool. Look at the block for March. It's an Ohio star. That's so neat, you guys. Oh, this is fun. I'm so glad to get this. And the quality of it is super nice. So I love this uh, elastic band. It helps to kind of keep everything together. Wow, that's a huge thing to get in a subscription box. I'm really, really excited about that. So let me know if you guys want to see a video that kind of takes that planner more in depth and see maybe how I use it. Um, and I'd be glad to do that. So this is a fantastic box. I'm very, very excited about it. So let me know what your favorite thing is. Mine was obviously the planner because I'm a planner girl. I love them. So let me know what you guys think. All right. Thank you so much for joining us and I will see you guys later.